Hi, I'm Catherine Unsworth from the Australian Research Data Commons. Um, welcome to the Skills Impact and Strategy Community discussion today. Uh, skills training and its impact is a very current topic, um, but it's also a complex one. We won't necessarily solve any national level issues today, but we can certainly shine a light on them for future action. Uh, before we begin, I would like to acknowledge and celebrate the first Australians on whose traditional lands we meet and pay my respect to the elders past, present and emerging. I would specifically like to acknowledge the traditional custodians of the lands from which I come to you today, the Boonarong people of the South Eastern Kulin Nation. Now, I include this slide in most of my slide decks. It's really self-explanatory um, and I've included it in the shared doc for everyone's reference. Um, all relevant links for today are listed in a single document for convenience sake. Uh, we'll pop that link to the relevant link stock for attendees into um, the chat periodically and Liz will probably do that for me in a second, no doubt. Thanks. So just a quick overview of today's program. We'll kick off with a quick mentee poll followed by the BOF session um, where there will be a number of presentations and breakout room discussions. Let's then take a 30 minute break. This will be followed by an interactive session on tips and tricks for improving your training um, impact. We'll take a short breather after that and come back together for Dr. Anna Wilkinson's presentation, Coding and Software Club at the Burnett Institute. Um, a, oh, I knew I was going to stumble on this word. A Sisyphean story of normalising peer-to-peer uh, learning. This will be followed by another short and then we'll finish the day um, in Gathertown for a little informal and hopefully fun networking. Now, I'm just going to go to the next slide for Liz to talk about um, Gathertown. Thank you, Catherine. So this afternoon in our uh, networking session, um, we've got an exciting botanical garden for you to explore, um, which will have some fun games on outside tables and uh, exciting fountain with ducks uh, for you to manoeuvre around in. My um, tips will, uh, in the event document, there's a link to the Gather Town space. All you will need to do is follow that link and then Gather will prompt you to give, give it access to your microphone and your camera. And as you can see there, it will look a little bit like this and you can see my little face down in the bottom right-hand corner, um, which is what it looks like when your camera is on. Um, allow a few minutes to set up your avatar. As you can kind of see in 8-bit glory, I'm wearing a yellow um, pirate hat and you can too if you want. Um, and then if you're new to Gather, um, the little Gather bot, Riley, will give you a quick tutorial guide to using the controls, which are basically the arrow keys and the X, like, yeah, the X key to interact and um, and we'll see you in there. So roughly about four o'clock will be like the kickoff kind of time. So thank you. Thanks, Liz. Okay, so focusing in on our topic for discussion today, at the Skills Summit a couple of weeks ago, we as a community surfaced a number of really great ideas around skills challenges and opportunities to look at in 2022. Interestingly, the top two ideas that came out of the summit related to training metrics and impact and the need for the skills business uh, training business case for, you know, for our higher ups, the people that we report to. So we can unpack these further in discussions today, but surely this is a masterful piece of planning, don't you think? The top two ideas both relate to training impact, sets this event up very nicely. So the challenge today is looking at how we measure what could be referred to as the ripple effect of training. A non-trivial task, yes, but we've got some great speakers and presentation um, participants here today with a wealth of experience to share. And of course, where would we be without a model? I always love a good uh, model or framework. Uh, the Kirkpatrick model for learning evaluation has been around for a long time now, adapted and tweaked in many various ways. This um, diagram, Diagrammatic representation here is an adapted version, which includes the question around return on investment and effort. I thought it might be a useful reference point for framing our thinking today. Um, 
If we are to convince the higher ups of the value of digital research skills training, we need to take an intentional approach to measuring the outcomes of our training efforts. Otherwise, we'll struggle to paint an accurate picture of the impact our training programs actually realise.